What's up, everyone? Let me ask you a question. If I got protein powder and I got egg whites, what would be uh, the better choice? Two scoops of protein powder or 10 egg whites cooked on a plate? Pretty simple answer. The egg whites is going to win every time. Egg whites, chicken, steak, fish is going to win over protein powder if you have the option if you have the option all i'm trying to tell people is go with the food weight gainer have you ever read the ingredients of what's in a typical weight gain product any company out there that is making weight gain products is making shit don't take my word for it Go to the fucking nutrition store, pick up any fucking top weight gain product, and read the ingredients. Just read the ingredients. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking is read the ingredients. Now, for the young, upcoming bodybuilders out there that want to put on as much size as possible, real food is always the answer. Let me tell you how to make a simple weight gain shake that you can buy everything at the grocery store. Put a cup of oatmeal, one banana, 10 egg whites, one teaspoon of natural peanut butter. Blend that shit up in a blender, all right? You have no garbage, you have no shit, you have no chemicals. All you have is complex carbs from oatmeal, protein from egg whites, natural fats from peanut butter, banana. What more could you ask for? It's the perfect fucking shake and it's real food and everything in that shake is gonna benefit you. There is no bullshit and it's gonna be cheaper. So all I'm trying to do is tell people that protein powders and weight gainers are a waste of fucking time. That's it. I'm never gonna sell a protein powder and I'm never gonna sell a weight gainer because I don't wanna mislead people into believing protein powders are better than real food protein sources. And yes, this has been mismarketed for over 30 years. Joe Weider came out with protein powder, put Arnold Schwarzenegger on the label, and the shit sold like crazy. And ever since then, every young upcoming teenage bodybuilder sees me out and about and says, oh my God, you're huge. What kind of protein powder do you take? That's the number one question I get asked all the time. And it's always by younger, upcoming guys that want to get big is, oh my God, what kind of protein powder do you use? It's the number one question. Why? Because it's put in everybody's heads that protein powder is the secret to putting on muscle. This is the best way to put on muscle. And I just want to change this. I want the truth to come out. I want everyone to know the truth that food, real food, is the secret, not protein powder. Protein powder can help. It has its place, but real food will always be the better option. If you're eating two to three times a day, you should be eating real food protein sources, not fucking powdered shit. Now, Obviously, I came out with a product called Real Food, and people are saying, well, now you have a, no, no. It's real food. It's yams, sweet potatoes, and oats, and dried blueberries. That's what it is. It's a more convenient way to take in the best possible carbs for your body. It's just convenience. I used to go to the grocery store, buy my yams, wash my yams, scrub my yams, bake them in the oven for an hour and a half, wrap them in foil after they cool, put them in the fridge, wait 24 hours the next day, put them in my bag, only to find out the yam juice leaked all over my bag. The yam juice leaked on the seats of my Bentley, ruined the fucking leather on the seats of my Bentley. Okay, there's gotta be an easier fucking way than cooking fucking yams and bringing them with me to the gym. Hey dehydrated yams in a powder form, put it in a blender, blend it with water, fuck, that's a million times better, a million times, it's 
way more convenient, it's easy, it's quick for me, it's a great solution. If you want to cook your yams, go to the grocery store and buy them. That's fucking the best possible option. Cooking your food is always going to be the best option. Eating real food is always the best option. So I'm only telling you the best option. I don't. You don't have to buy my product. My product is not something new. It's not something that I have this new carbohydrate. It's going to put this much more. No, it's not something new. It's real fucking food. It's the same shit you get at the grocery store. It's just made convenient. That's it. When Rich Piana comes out with some miracle product that's going to put 22 pounds of muscle on in a month, then you know I'm full of shit. Then you know I'm pulling your leg. When I come out with a new carbohydrate, it's... Better than waxy maize, the body can absorb 92% more, but then you know I'm full of shit. Because whenever there's something that's the best, new, blah, 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 you know it's bullshit. The supplement industry has been coming out with new fucking shit for 30 years. And guess what? It all fades away because it's all bullshit. Bodybuilders, when they get ready for shows, they're still eating real food. They're still eating food every two to three hours. All these guys. Any competitive bodybuilder is not going and getting what they need for the show at GNC. They're going to the grocery store. Bodybuilders are not made on supplements. They're made on fucking good, healthy, wholesome food. And I would like to believe that this makes logical sense and everyone knows this. And anyone who plans on competing, when you hire someone to write out your diet, they're not going to put Okay, I want you to take this protein powder at this time. I want you to take this weight gainer at this time. No, it's gonna be egg whites and oatmeal for breakfast, chicken and rice for lunch, turkey and yams for your next meal, dinner, fish and asparagus. That's what your fucking diet's gonna consist of. It's not gonna have fucking, okay, weight gainer, protein. No, it's not gonna have that bullshit. And anyone out there who's ever competed or looked into competing or hired someone to do their diet, knows what I'm talking about. And the people out there that haven't got to that level, 